Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'll be installing a wig provided by Beauty Forever Hair. Inside the box I received um, eyelashes, a scarf, wig caps, and the wig. The wig is a 180% 13 by 4 wig and the curl pattern is loose wave. This is what the wig looks like straight out of the box. Um, it looks more like wand curls than loose wave. The knots on the wig were very small and the hairline was plucked nicely so I didn't bleach or pluck over the hairline. I just hot combed it and took out the baby hairs that I wanted to use. This is what um, the wig looks like after I hot combed it and took out the baby hairs that I wanted to use. I will be showing you guys how I prepared the wig, but this wig was a little bit smaller than the average head, so I had to do it a little differently. Once you have the wig positioned where you want it to lay, have your client hold the two sides of the wig so you can do the next step. So for the next step, you're going to use an angled brush and make a dotted line across your client's forehead. This is so you can know exactly where to place the glue. For each install, I use three layers of glue. Once your first layer is dried, you can apply the second one and then the third. Once your three layers of glue have dried, you can now lay the lace into the glue.
when I cut the lace off um, I always lift it back up and put like a thin layer on so it can hold the front down better As you can see, the wig is um, smaller than my client's head, so I had to leave on more lace than I normally would to protect her edges. Now I'm just placing makeup on top of the lace to get rid of the ashy look. Next, you're going to use your scissors and cut the baby hairs to a length that makes it easy for you to do them. Once you finish cutting all your baby hairs, you're going to use um, the small curling iron, small flat iron, and curl your baby hairs. This makes it easier for them to swoop. Now you're going to use your got to be glue gel, place it on the baby hairs, then use your mousse to swoop them in place.
Now you're gonna use four to five wrap strips and place it over your client's edges. Have your client hold it in place so when you're placing the wrap strips down, your edges won't move. This is what the um, wig looks like after I combed out the front curls, but I'm still going to curl it over so the curls can be more high up. The curling iron that I'm using in this video is um, Xtava, X-T-A-V-A, and the small iron that I used was red. When I'm curling my client's hair, I always curl away from the face, so when the curl falls, it can be like a swoop, kind of. Once the edges have completely dried, you can um, remove your wrap strips and then we're going to begin to hot comb your client's hairline.
and this is the finished look thank you guys so much for watching remember to like comment and subscribe